Hey there, welcome to module two. So in this module, we're going to be covering, um, you know, content, finding content, and then actually uploading your content. Um, obviously, this this is the core of the whole course, you know, because they say in this business model, we would say that content is king because everything depends on the content. It's not about how your site looks or you know how your how good your your advertising skills are it's all about the content that you're promoting and I'm going to show you very easy way of finding your content and you're really going to be surprised that this you know this method is so easy and finding content is also so easy so you know to make things and make life a whole lot easy we have to use a tool called Buzzsumo now if you come on this site um, you know we're going to go on pricing and this is the package I suggest you get Um, obviously you don't because I mean, there's no other package, you know, lower than this. So $99 a month, you know, is very, very cheap for what it does. Great, great tool. Um, and, you know, this is all you're going to need. The Facebook Analyzer one, you know, this gives you a few extra things with it. It also shows you the Facebook ads people are possibly running um, for the specific articles which you'd find. Now, I'm on this plan. So, you know, just get this plan. And let's get inside Buzzsumo now, and I'm going to show you how we actually use it, okay? So this is very, very simple, all right? Here's how it goes. Now, you come inside here, you can enter a topic, keyword, or domain. So you can choose whatever you want to find content on. Let's say you like um, basketball. Now, who's a big basketball player? I don't know much about basketball, so I'm just going to type in Michael Jordan, because that's who I know. You know... Facebook shares, okay, if you click on Facebook shares, this shows you how many shares it's got on Facebook. And ideally, we're looking for, you know, content which has, you know, over 10,000 shares, never mind hundreds of thousands. Um, you know, once you've got content above 100,000, then you know that this is definitely going to be good content. Um, so, yeah, you know, you've got perfect article here. This is, it, this is doing its rounds these days. I'm seeing this a lot, this article. Um, signs one year deal with Hornet. Say I got you know you have to see um, with some content what happens is you'll find content but it might be from you know a year before or so and it it might have been a trend at the time it might have been something that happened at the time but it no longer um you know it, it, it no longer matters it you know it just it doesn't mean anything anymore so you want content which is you know you could say evergreen or it lasts for a very long time. This one here, Michael Jordan lowering price to nineteen ninety nine on all Jordans in twenty seventeen. That's a year away from now, so we could be running this till December thirty first of this year. Um, so you know that's a perfect article there. And you know, let's move on. I mean, you know what happens? You just click here and you have the full article. All you do from here, you know, you just come on here. Okay, looks nice. You know, their site looks pretty much like ours. And all you got to do is simply copy and paste. Yep, you copy it and you paste it into your site. But I'm going to cover that in a bit on how you actually upload your content. But now I'm just showing you how to find content. And right now you're probably thinking, what the hell, this is too easy. You know, it can't be this easy. But it really is. Um, let's move on to the next topic. Let's type in football. Okay, now this is a very broad, you know, big um, topic. So, you know, on this we might not find good stuff. This has got bloody 992,000 shares. But what is this? You know, this is some giveaway. So, you know, with someone like this, it doesn't really seem too real anyways. It's got, nine, you know, nearly a million shares over here. But it's got zero, five, zero. You know what I mean? Um, not great. But let's, let's narrow this down. Okay, let's take it to David Beckham. Okay. Now, Facebook shares. Boom! David Beckham turns up at California family's home to give them hundred thousand dollars. You come on here, and what is this? Is this a video? Okay, so this one's a video, and you can actually take a video, and you can also upload that onto your site. Let's continue looking at some more content. Um, David Beckham says he's stricter with sons, has no power with daughter Harper. Now this, you know, this was probably a trend. This done its rounds back in twenty fifteen. But, you know, that doesn't go to say we still can't, you know, run articles like this. Because it's just, um, it's like, 
it, it, it's still relevant. It, you just got to use your, your common sense. There's nothing, you know, there's no certain criteria for something like this. There's no certain um, formula of, you know, finding your content. It's just about using your common sense and thinking, would you read this right now? If this appeared on your timeline, is this still worth a read? Um, if this said, you know, this is saying no power's daughter Harpen at the time she's only four years old. Now in ten years time she's gonna be fourteen years old. So a lot will have changed. So in ten years time this article is gonna be so irrelevant. But it's only you know this was only uploaded in September twenty ninth and you know we're only in March right now. So you know this kind of article could be relevant as well. All you do once again copy all of it and paste. <laughs> um and it, it's just very simple. I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna go through one more keyword. Actually, no, this time I'll show you a domain. So the biggest, you know, blog everyone knows. What is it? It is the one and only Buzzfeed.com. Now you don't really want to mess with Buzzfeed's content. Um, I don't know, just because they have very unique kind of content. You know, chop, you know, copywriters, um, you know, people who write content, images. You know, they have very you know unique great images and you know it's just hard to compete with buzzfeed you know taking their content is hard to use but the thing with buzzfeed is what you can do because okay 1.7 million shares you know that's a hot article what do you do with someone like this okay maybe you don't copy and paste it but you can go to a writer and say i want you you know you send them this whole article and you say write me up an article just like this but they rewrite it this way now you have your own article and you know it's perfect you got your own article and this article in the past has 1.7 million shares 10 million bloody views insane um and you know I I'll cover in the next video on how you actually you know you rewrite content or you, you know you simply copy and paste and the benefits and um you know advantages and disadvantages of both but you know that's a domain you can see here we got articles you know it just goes on and on these articles you could take for days you got from 1.7 million down by hundreds of thousands each time you know even on the fifth page we got bloody 200,000 plus shares you know what this means you go through each page and take all their content because you know it's hot um now let me tell you another thing about content. Okay, this really is is, is vital. And um, you know when you're finding content, you need to m make sure that it has a target audience. Um when you read the headline, you need to think who are you going to target with this? 17 gifts only grammar nerds will appreciate. Now, I don't know if grammar nerds is actually an audience on Facebook. If you was to type in grammar nerds in the interest research thing on Facebook, um, I don't know if something would come up. Now maybe you know you could type in nerds and that would probably be something. But when you type in nerds, you don't want to get confused with Wonka nerds, the sweets. Um, so you want to make sure they are, you know, they are very. There's a very solid target audience. This one, honestly, like looking at this right now. I would actually think this would, you know, make you some good money. 19, you know, I haven't tested this myself, but I really think it's a good article. Because chronic pain is a big, big topic. It's in health, number one. Um, number two, you know, massive topic. Um, number three, you know there's a target audience for chronic pain. You can relate that to all different illnesses around. You know, that this one, this one's just perfect. Um, you know, you'd come on here and would give it a look. Okay, so you know you can actually take such you know you can take these images you can actually take the whole article to be honest um because they are taken from Instagram and they have given credit to where they've gotten them from and this is all you need to do as well you just need to give credit to where you get your content from and that's what's gonna happen when you upload your content to your own site if you're not getting it rewritten all you need to do is give credit to where you got the article from and you know you're good to go. All right, so you know that's it when it comes to actually finding your content, doing your research. It's very simple, and a lot you know with courses these days and programs out there, they overcomplicate everything. They lengthen you know everything out. They make everything very long and time-consuming. 
um, and you know, just very confusing. And I, you know, I, I'm not here to do that. I, I, you know, I'm all about results and that in a, you know, quick period of time. You know, I want to get results fast. You know, they say money like speed. Um, and you know, we're not gonna go do it, do boring old research. You know, where we look at, oh, how many searches is a specific keyword getting every month using the Google Keyword Planner. We don't need to do any of that. We're not doing SEO. Okay, we just need to find good content which has the potential of going viral. Very, very simple, okay? Now, if you have any questions, once again, just post in the Facebook group and I or someone from the group will get them answered, okay? But yeah, that's it for now. I will see you on the next video.